Hello, good morning viewers. In our previous lesson, we have seen how to find the end term of an arithmetic progression sequence. So in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to find the missing terms when the constant common difference is not given. So this is a linear sequence. We are given four second term, third term are not given, but we are given the fourth term. How can we find the second and the third term? That's the question. Well, it will be so difficult to find because the constant common difference is not given. But we can apply logic here in order to find them. Let us just replace them with x and y first. Let the second term be x and third term be equal to y. Remember that if you want to get the constant common difference, which is d, you are free to take x minus 4. Every term minus the previous term will always give us the constant common difference. So x minus 4 will give us the constant common difference. Likewise, if you take y, you subtract x, you have to get that constant common difference. d is also equal to y minus x. And lastly, if you take 13, you subtract y, you're going to get that constant common difference d is also equal to 13 minus y. So if all of this equal to d, it means that x minus 4 is equal to y minus x is equal to 13 minus y. So we can now form two equations here. Let me form the first one. The first equation is that this x minus 4 will be exactly equal to y minus x. And the second equation I can form here, the same y minus x can be equal to 13 minus y. y minus x is equal to 13 minus y. So this is my first equation, and this is the second equation. From the first equation, we can make y the subject. Let us do that. We have x minus 4 equals y minus x therefore y can be equal to 2x minus 4 remember if you take this negative x backward it becomes positive and we have another x there x plus x is equal to 2x minus 4 equal to y therefore y is equal to 2x minus 4 this is equation number 3 Okay, now we are free to substitute equation 3 into equation 2. Wherever we see y, we are going to replace it with 2x minus 4 in that equation. So we have, let me write it here, we have y minus x equals 13 minus y. But y is equal to 2x minus 4. 2x minus 4 then minus x from the left hand side to the right hand side we have 13 minus because it is subtraction we need to add our bracket to x minus 4. let us simplify this 2x minus x is single x so we have x minus 4 to the left and to the right we can expand the bracket 13 minus will affect every term here. Minus 2x, then plus 4. Let us bring the unknown to the left and the constant to the right. To the left, we still have x. We want to now bring this one backward. It is negative there. To the left, it becomes positive. 2x. And to the right, we still have 13 plus 4. Then if this negative 4 crosses over, it becomes positive, just like this. To the left, we have 3x. To the right, we have 13 plus 4, which is 17. 17 plus 4 is 21. So this is 21. If you divide both sides by 3, you have x equal to 21 divided by 3. And x is equal to 7. If x is equal to 7, we can use this equation number 3 to find the value of y. So from equation 3, let me write it. 
y is equal to 2x minus 4. y equals 2x minus 4. And x is equal to 7. So we can put it here instead of x. y equals 2 multiplied by 7. And then minus 4. Finally, y equal to 2 times 7, 14. Then 14 minus 4 is 10 y equal to 10 and hence we can conclude that x and y are 7 and 10 respectively from our initial sequence which is 4 x y and 13 we can replace x with 7 and y with 10 so this is 7 and this is 10 if you like you can find the constant common difference to see whether this sequence is really true or not. 7 minus 4 is 3. 10 minus 7 is 3. 13 minus 10 is also equal to 3. This means that this is a linear sequence because we have a constant common difference. And the values we are looking for, which are the second and the third term, are said to be 7 and 10 respectively. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.